Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from David Hernandez from Hoodwinked, published by Saraband Books in 2011. Uh, this poem is entitled At the Post Office. The line is long, processional, glacial, and the attendant a giant stone, cobalt blue with flecks of white. I'm not so much looking at a rock as a slab of night. The stone asks if anything inside the package is perishable. When I say no, the stone laughs, muted thunderclap, meaning everything decays, not just fruit or cut flowers, but paper, ink, the CD I burned with music. And my friend, waiting to hear the songs, some little joy after chemo eroded the tumor. I know flesh is temporary, and memory, a tilting barn, the elements dismantle nail by nail. I know the stone knows a millennia of rain and wind will even grind away his ragged face. And all of this slow erasing is just a prelude to when the swelling universe burns out, goes dark, holds nothing but black holes, the bones of stars and planets, a vast silence. The stone is stone-faced. The stone asks, how soon I want the package delivered? As fast as possible, I say. Then start counting the days. Uh, that was At the Post Office by David Hernandez from Hoodwinked, Saraband Books, 2011. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about David Hernandez, about where to purchase this book, and uh, where to find, well, more information about other projects that I'm currently working on. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, liking these videos, commenting below, or sharing them on social media. All these things help uh, raise the profile of these videos which isn't so much for me as it is for the poets that I feature and the poems that I feature. Uh, my hope is that as we continue to do this, that it becomes easier for others to discover these poets and poems, that in some small way this is a, a, an opportunity to expand um, our own knowledge of what's happening in the poetry world as well as uh, encourage others to to sample to experience and then possibly even dive in themselves either as readers or as writers. Um, if you really want to support me, just hit the subscribe button and, uh, well, it doesn't translate into money for me, but it, it does let me know, uh, that there is a, an audience for these videos. And I'm grateful for all of you who have, uh, subscribed in the last few weeks and thankful for your continued support. If you have comments, suggestions of other poets or poems that I should feature on the channel, please do reach out to me either by email or in the comments below. Um, just let me know um, if there's someone that you'd like to see on this series, and I will do my best to find a way to, to feature those poems and, uh, and to expand my own reading. Um, I think that's, that's one of the things I always look forward to, is being introduced to new poets. And so I'm always on the lookout, always excited to discover someone new. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. Well, I, I think that's about it. We're wrapping up this week. Uh, it's uh, wherever you are. I hope you're staying warm. Uh, winter is coming if it hasn't arrived already for you. Uh, that seems weird to say in mid middle of August, in, in middle of August, big, <laughs> middle of October, but it is indeed the case. Uh, we've already had our first uh, frost and a little bit of snow. Um, and, uh, Thankfully, that's gone, and this weekend is turning into a warm weekend, thankfully. Um, but uh, no doubt, we will, in a few weeks, be well into winter here in Canada, and uh, that's just the reality of things. Um, I, I hope we uh, squeeze out a few more weeks of warmth before it drops into the cold. But uh, wherever you are, I hope you're enjoying the beauty of the weather and the world. Um, Taking opportunities while the weather is still nice to be out in the world and engaged in nature, um, to see the sights, to, to experience the world. Um, since we've spent so much time cooped up in our apartments and homes, in our offices, and separated from each other, I, I think that's a, a wonderful opportunity now to, to take advantage of the, of the weather while we have it. So um, without uh, further ado, I guess we're going to wrap up. Um, Thank you all, and uh, I'll be back again soon. 
every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And uh, until next time, keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged in the world, and finding ways to build bridges with others. Uh, one, one poem, one word, one, one line at a time. And uh, I'll keep doing the same. So until next time, um, stay safe and well, and uh, we'll be back with more poetry. Thank you, and goodbye.